Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to film a grocery haul from Walmart and Aldi. Um, it's a huge one, the biggest one that I've done since I have started posting hauls and budget videos on my channel. Um, I spent, I did, I will tell you that I kind of went cashless for this because I never went to the bank yesterday and pulled out money to put in my envelopes. Um, I don't think that I went as overboard as what it seems like because I did use my debit card and normally I would be a cash spender and would do multiple transactions because I would have different categories. So my food would be one category, my miscellaneous, which is all other household items like deodorant and um, cleaning supplies, uh, that would be um, a category. And then I would also have a category for med medical, which is for any kind of medicines, Tylenol, that kind of thing. Well, because I did my, my, I used my debit card, I did one transaction for everything. So in total, both places was over $500. Um, I spent, I, let's see, I spent how much did I spend? 400 and something at Walmart. My receipt, I, I am wet because it poured down rain. Where's my purse? Let me see if I can get, I'll tell you, my receipt is like all floppy and, and wet. Uh, shoot. Um, let me see. Let me flip this around. Okay, so my receipt's in thirds for Walmart. I'm gonna have to rectify this because I need to dry it and that way I can scan it into my um, Fetch Rewards app. And a link is always posted in the description box if you wanna try out Fetch Rewards. It costs you nothing and it just gives you money back on um, the brands that you buy. So here is my Walmart receipt. I spent $455, that is including dog food and household items as well. And then at Aldi, I spent $118. I normally give myself $250 for groceries um, for two weeks. Well, I clearly went over that, but that's also including pet. That's including miscellaneous. That is including medical. So I did go over. I'm not sure exactly by how much. I'll have to break it down later. Um, I want to get all this stuff put in the freezer and fridge before it starts thawing on me. Um, so I'm going to turn this around and I'm just going to kind of go over what I bought. I'm not going to separate it out. You'll be able to see some things by brands, what I bought. You can open that up. You can uh, open that up and put it on the counter. Is that everything? And my kids helping me um, set everything out. I'm not going to tell you where, what I bought where. You'll be able to tell by some of the brands and stuff, like I said. But for the most part, I'm just going to show you what I got. Here, I got vinegar. I also bought some hummingbird. Um, we have a hummingbird feeder out our kitchen window, so I bought some of that. I got cereal for the kids. My son needed new bed sheets. Um, he's had, he has a twin size bed and he's been sleeping on full size that we've just been tucking under. So um, I got some kale, spinach, mini cucumbers, scallions, bananas. I got a lot of bell peppers because I'm going to chop those up and put them in baggies in the freezer. I got some sour cream, some taco seasoning and fajita seasoning. These are wet. I hope that it, they're not ruined. Same goes for my, I bought two boxes of instant rice and the reason that it's in a bag is because the box was soaked and fell apart on me and rice started coming out everywhere. Um, I bought some tampons, some probiotics, um, deodorant for my husband and my son. Um, his hands are my, my husband's hands, not my son's. Um, this stuff is like snot, but he is, his hands are like sandpaper. They are so rough. Um, they stick to everything and they're sore and cracked. And so I got this hoping that it's going to help. And then I also got this. Hopefully it's going to help some. The other night they were so cracked and dry that he just, I have some organic coconut oil and he rubbed. No, not yet. Um, I got cheese. I got cheese over here as well. Sliced cheese, um, butter, 
two pounds of ground beef. I got two things of ketchup because we go through ketchup like crazy. Two things of tomato, basil, garlic pasta sauce. That's going to be for Oliver. His birthday is May 3rd and he requested chicken parmesan pasta. So that's what this is going to be for. Um, I got two things of coffee creamer. One thing of peanut butter, French onion dip, a thing of chicken thighs for our uh, pineapple ginger chicken. This is for those. I'm going to cut those up and put this ranch on them. Um, I got some puff corn, wavy potato chips, two dozen eggs, four cans of green beans, a can of large black olives, a gallon of milk. I also, don't judge me, I did get some paper plates because just getting snacks and things like that. Um, I don't like using paper towels or dirtying up plates. So we go through way too many paper towels. So I did get paper plates, don't judge me. I am going to try to start eating a little bit healthier. So I'm gonna move on over here. We're gonna try to go gluten-free, maybe not 100% because obviously we got, um, we have, chocolate chip cookies and breads and things like that that obviously have gluten in them but I'm gonna try to definitely eat less so I got some gluten-free all-purpose baking mix so I can use I can use this for biscuits pancakes um I need we need q-tips so I got q-tips sweet potatoes onions I got one um fresh avocado I got some gluten-free breadcrumbs which you know they're gluten-free, so I'm sure it's not bread. Uh, I got some gluten-free angel food cake mix. I got these. These are not gluten-free, but they are cereal bars. So um, these are still a healthier option for the kids to have to snack on. We needed lots of medicine. So we got some daytime and nighttime cold and flu medicine. I needed some new spatulas. These are water flavors that we like to put in our water that it helps us drink more. So I got some, I got three fruit punch and two strawberry watermelon. I got a thing of vitamin B12, um, a thing of nutmeg, a thing of pumpkin pie spice, a double pack of extra strength, uh, acetaminophen, minophen, which is like Tylenol. Two things of vanilla extract, a box of roasted vegetable crackers, pizza rolls. I got a lot of frozen things, butternut squash, broccoli florets, um, cubed or diced avocados, broccoli and cauliflower. I got a big thing of whole strawberry, two big things of whole strawberries. A thing of triple berry blend frozen berries, a frozen. So I got a thing of sweet potato fries, two things of these famous seasoned fries. We've never tried them before, but they look good. Um, I want to make some smoothies, so that's what the frozen vegetables, or not frozen vegetables, the frozen berries were for. I also got this whey protein, um, and then I got a cheap, like, 9 or $12 mainstays personal blender. That way I can make the smoothies. I got, let's see, this ground flax seed. This maca double chocolate superfood blend, the espresso maca mulberry superfood blend, some almond flour because I want to make some macarons. Um, I got three containers or three bags of gluten free all purpose flour. It's one to one substitution. So if you use one cup of regular all purpose flour, you would use one cup of this. Two container or two bags of the Parmesan green bag chicken tenders. We love these in sandwiches. Um, I got a lot of frozen chicken. That's pretty much all either of the stores had. They didn't have any pork or beef. So we've been eating a lot of chicken around here. I got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts, diced chicken breasts that I thought would be good for fajitas, um, chicken breast tenderloins, 
more boneless skinless chicken breasts. I also got a bag of the boneless skinless chicken thighs. So a lot of chicken. I haven't been meal planning because of you don't know what you're going to be able to get in the store. So on over here, I got some white round tortilla chips and some restaurant style tortilla chips. I got a thing of crab. I want to make a crab dip, which is what the crackers over there are for. One package of flour tortillas, one package of these gluten-free spinach wraps, a package of honey buns, a package of veggie chips, and black baked pea snack. It's green pea crisp. Um, they are gluten-free, 50% less fat, yada, yada. And then I also got dog food, but you can't see that because it's already put up. So, and then everything you see here. So that is my haul for you guys. That is all I have for you today. Um, that will hopefully last me for a really long time, probably, probably at least three or four weeks um, instead of the normal two because I still have um, a few bags of the frozen chicken left from my last grocery trip. So, um, and since they've extended, our governor here in Illinois has extended our quarantine until May 30th. So, um, and there's no school for the rest of the year for Illinoisans. So, um, we're still just here trying to make do and, uh, stop it. Still here just trying to make do and done and do a little cooking and baking. Um, but that's it. That's all I've got. So uh, let me know if you have any good smoothie recipes. I would like to know um, what I can make with kind of what I've, what I have. I got some kale and spinach and all of that fruit. So hopefully I can do something edible. Yeah, I could do strawberry banana. We'll see. Um, hopefully I'll start eating a little bit healthier. I'm hoping to maybe start the protein shakes in the morning and kind of do that as a meal replacement. Add a little bit of that whey protein, some of the fruit, some greens. Um, and I've also got some chia seeds and I bought that maca. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that maca and as well as some flax seed for fiber. So, um... Hopefully I can start doing maybe a meal replacement for that, maybe even a lunch one day, because uh, I've got to do something, especially during this quarantine when you've got all this time and you're not working. You just want to eat, eat, eat. So I'm going to try the gluten-free um, because gluten is an, an, an inflammatory. And so um, it's supposed to help with, you know, like swelling and just feeling bloated all the, all of the time. So we're going to try to go gluten-free plus both my daughter and my, uh, and my husband have like stomach issues with, um, dairy and gluten. So we'll see if that maybe helps them. Um, I'll keep you posted. This is going to be a little journey that we'll be going on together. So, um, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give me a little thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.